Hi guys. So what I've got here is an Apple G4 Cube. So this is a pretty rare computer. Um, it was released by Apple in the year 2000 and it was basically a commercial flop. It sold 150,000 units, which by Apple standards is, is really not enough uh, for it to be kind of commercially viable for them. But given the real incredible design of this machine, it's become so quite sought after by, by collectors. We can see this clear um, polycarbonate shell um, and that goes basically with a matching keyboard, matching monitor, matching speakers. Um, if you wanted kind of the best looking computer in the year 2000, this was it. Um, as I said, these things are pretty rare. If you go on eBay, you'll find people selling these for multiple hundreds of pounds or dollars. I think, I think kind of universally these things are pretty expensive. Um, and I found someone basically getting rid of this on Facebook Marketplace uh, for £30, which I think is well under, you know, its true value. But the condition of this is basically unknown in terms of it working. But also we can see here um, the case is kind of got is full of dust. It's got cat hair in there. I think basically the whole thing was sat upside down and stuff's kind of dropped on it. Um, so it's dirty, it's scratched on the top, um, so that's an issue. Um, but kind of more importantly, it doesn't have a power supply. And so these machines have a fairly unusual power supply. It's an external unit because the machine really was trying to be as compact as, as possible. Um, and so it has a, or it needs a 28 volt power supply. Um, and it needs a pretty beefy 28 volt power supply. So this computer has an Apple ADC out in addition to a, a, v, a standard kind of VGA connector. But that, app, that Apple ADC connector could provide both video uh, and power, and I think USB uh, connectivity mm -hmm. as well. And these, um, the monitors that were compatible with that connector include uh, the Apple Studio display, which is a CRT. So this, this computer needs to be able to not only power, the, it power itself, but also a CRT monitor. And so that 28 volt power supply needs a seven amp output, a kind of uh, 200 watt uh, output um, corresponding there. And so those can be a little bit hard to come by. The other thing is the connector. So it has a um, power DIN connector. And so what I'm gonna do is basically build a power supply from pieces I've got here. So I got this power supply um, from AliExpress. Uh, there are a few threads online and there's a blog post from um, from someone. I'll, I'll link link below and kind of refer back to that back to that later. Um, but this is kind of known to work with the machine. It's a 28 volt, seven amp uh, power supply. So so that's kind of the perfect perfect spec. Um, and this was this was less than 20 pounds um, from from AliExpress. And it, to be honest, it got here pretty quick. And um, this is London, England, as as uh, as my name uh, name suggests. The other thing then the connector. So I was able to source a uh, powered in connector. I'll kind of get that in front of the camera there. So we can see the, the kind of four four prongs uh, there. And um, so also online, there's a bit of a debate as to, well, what is this actual actual connector? Um, but this powered in I, I purchased and it, and, it, and it fits in the socket. I, I'm pretty sure it's the right one. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is build a connector and build a cable. Uh, wire it into the power supply and then we get to find out whether the computer works. So the um, the connections here, it's it's pretty simple, basically got plus 28 volts, um, you know, negative um, connection and then a ground as well. So the, the two pins at the top that are closest to one another, you see this is not square, um, the, the pins are slightly, the top two are closer than the bottom two. And um, the top two are uh, plus 28 volts and the, the bottom two are, are the kind of negative. So what I'm going to do is kind of have one cable that kind of connects to both pins. And as long as the cable's a beefy one, um, that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. So, so I'm going to have to kind of solder the, the connections on on there and, and, and build the rest of the connector. So there's the sort of the okay. shell and then a, and, and then a plastic plastic surround that, that goes 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 with it. Um, and then in terms of the actual cable, I'm just going to butcher a, uh, a kettle lead. So that should have three fairly strong cables in it. Um, the, the the power supply um, needs kind of uh, three uh, connections: earth, um, you know, neutral and and, and power, 
um, and then we'll we'll wire in the the, the twenty eight volt uh, connections connections as well. So I think in terms of building this, I think it'll be fairly straightforward. Um, the most fiddly bit will be will be building the connector, um, but yeah, hopefully that'll be that'll be okay. And so what I'm going to do is go away, build that cable, and then we'll plug it in and we'll see if it works. Okay, so the PSUs are wired in. Um, I've checked the voltage of the PSU and I've checked the um, continuity between the you know the PSU and the the DIN connector. Um, it wasn't necessarily the most challenging um, to build the cable, but building the DIN connector certainly is pretty fiddly. Um, you know, you've got four connections to make and the uh, earth to the to the kind of shell of the connector, um, and making sure that you've not got any issues of you know bridging contacts um, and that each each one is is you know well insulated from the from the other and you can do that with with a with a multimeter making sure you've got um, continuity um, from you know one end of the cable to the other and that you don't have between the things that you don't want to have connections so got it plugged into the cube now and then I've got up got it um, you know this 19 inch um, monitor hooked up uh, via the VGA connector. So let's see if we get something out of this computer. Oh, there we go. We got a flash on the top from the light um, and I hear the hard drive uh, spinning up. Let's see if the uh, monitor, oh, we've got a green light on the monitor. Are we gonna get something? Oh, there's an Apple symbol. Um, so, yeah, I've not got any peripherals hooked up. This is really just to see, you know, can we power the computer with this, with this PSU? And, you know, does it boot into an operating system or has the hard drive failed? I mean, I had, I've got an iMac G3 that had a, a failed hard drive. So it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even, um, you know, boot into Mac OS, mm -hmm. but new hard drive in there and it, and it, um, and it fired up a treat. So uh, we can see Mac OS X uh, firing up so yeah, I think this this job's a good one. Um, so yeah, hopefully for those of you who are struggling with a PSU for one of these one of these computers, this has been useful. Um, I will put uh, links to um, buying this particular particular PSU, um, and the connector you need is a power DIN connector. Um, I'll put a link to uh, one of the blogs that I found very useful. That's from um, Ed Retro Tech. Um, where he actually used this PSU in an original cube PSU for his PSU that had that had failed. Um, so yeah, we've booted into we booted into Mac, Mac OS X. This is uh, or this was uh, Devon's Mac. Um, it's now my Mac. Um, and so yeah, next step will be to actually completely tear down this Apple Cube um, because it is absolutely filthy and disgusting. Um, so there will be a video coming soon uh, where we take it apart, clean all the dust out, polish the top, put new thermal paste in, um, you know, get it running, hopefully, uh, as good as new. Um, and actually, I can hear that hard drive running. I think we might do a, an SSD mod on this as well so we can have it perfectly silent. So, yeah, that is everything. Um, I will see you guys soon.